So there's two things that I would like to share this morning. Uh, they are related to each other, but when I show them to you, you would say, what is the relationship? So first of all is, I traveled the other day uh, into Tembisa, in the eastern side of, northeastern side of Kempton Park, township, traditional old uh, black township. And then I was also in Alexandra. And apart from being vibrant, almost self-sustained communities, uh, sometimes I'm surprised that uh, the amount of wealth that is accumulated in those areas. Consider looking at and seeing the state of these uh, communities and townships. There's a lot of money there, but something that caught my eyes uh, was the amount of metro police that's deployed in that area. Street crossing after street crossing after street crossing, there's two, three, and some point four, six uh, of these metro cops literally deployed with a fine pad and a pen to, well, find the people of the community. That's what it is. And it is literally, in my books, I refer to them as walking toll gates. They're collecting tax for the cash-strapped municipalities or councils or government. So, uh, so that's the one side of it. The actual thing that I was want to talk to you about is this new legislation that is going to be implemented uh, with regards to retirement money. Uh, in September this year, they call about the two-part system. And so, yeah, so those are the two things. How do they relate? What is it that I want to bring to you to just show you there's another dimension or two other dimensions that's obviously not put up front and transparent uh, why this, these changes are done and these metro cops. So just coming back to the metro cops, uh, a couple of weeks ago, a week or two ago when the ANC uh, did their rally uh, where there were thousands of people gathering and Ramaphosa were the, obviously uh, the spokesperson there. What amazed me is the ignorance of the ANC supporters, or maybe the stupidity. I do not understand this. But anyway, they when he announced that he's going to employ another 10,000 metro cops, all these supporters cheered and clapped hands. But he didn't tell them that, listen, I'm employing them in your townships, street corner, street corner after street corner, to collect taxes from you. They are walking toll gates with little fine books. So that money is for whatever small uh, this, uh, traffic violation, you don't stop properly, it's a stop and go, and you didn't stop properly, they fine you. And they just collect fines. So I'm sure that these guys are earning maybe 20, 30,000 rand a month, but they've got a target of maybe 100, 150,000 rand a month. Now, if you employ 10,000 of those toll gates walking around, targeting, attacking, uh, it's like targeted attacks to the supporters of the ANC government. I cannot believe it. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. But then, coming back to the other issue, the new retirement two-part system. So the basic of the basics of that is uh, you can contribute on the uh, your retirement fund, provident fund, or um, okay. So it's only basically retirement funds where 
there's a deduction on your salary and you contribute two pots, a certain portion, one third of your money is going to the one pot and the other two thirds going to the other pot. At the end of that year, which is 10 to 1, a financial year, I would say, uh, you can access that one third cash pot, so to speak, uh, and withdraw that. So the legislation around it, uh, around this issue, according to me, is a toll gate imposed again. So I just want to draw you a picture of what's happening. So we have this 14 plus minus million employed people contributing to retirement funds, pension funds and provident funds. And obviously between 7, 5, 7, 15, 10, 15 percent of their salary is not taxed when it goes into the retirement fund pot. But the vast majority of these members are the average person that always need money. So if you ask any one of these people, uh, do you want your money? Uh, do you want money? They will say yes, because they always need it. There's always something that they don't earn enough. Uh, the cost of living is expensive. There's always a sort of shortage of money. So now the toll gate rule says whatever comes in here in the retirement funds, one third is the cash pot and the other two thirds is the retirement pot. I just talk layman's language here. And you can access this. So these people will most probably do it. They will access that one third cash. So when it comes in here, they do not pay tax. It's a tax deduction. This amount of money that's contributed is not taxed. But when it goes out, it's going to be taxed at marginal rate. So two things is going to happen. There's multi-dimensions to this thinking. Very smart ANC government. Very smart. So basically what happens is this one third that goes into the retirement funds is going to go out again at a marginal rate and not an average rate. And so suddenly now the government has got access to retirement funds. They were always thinking of schemes and plans and tricks, how to get their fingers in this pie. All right, so they changed legislation. There's, there's another legislation that I'll just mention just now, how they get got their fingers into this pie. Okay, but now for this one is... Uh, the, the new proposed legislation that's going to come into effect in September 24 is the two-part system so that the employees or the members of these funds can actually access the one-third pot. Okay? But that will be taxed at marginal rate. So this money is not going to retirement provision anymore. It's coming back into the economy, which is maybe a nice way to in, impose a flow into the economy. So the problem with that is if one third of what is happening here is going back into the economy, it's going to uh, have an implication, an inflation implication. Okay, so that's the one thing that's negative. Uh, Treasury is going to smile because they're going to get income tax on that withdrawal, that one-third withdrawal from most of the people that, that will be able to do it. They're going to do it. So they're going to get tax into Treasury coffers. And then there's another thing. Because this money is going, coming into the economy, people are going to spend it. Which means there's another 15% that, on top of the income tax that Treasury is going to receive of this money, which now 
takes it to almost 50%, uh, 30, 40% of whatever this money is flowing out is going to go to treasury. That plus income tax. So treasury is smiling. So the legislation is a toll gate to access and tax the retirement money. Beforehand, SARS, well, not SARS, the ANC government is looking to, for, for money to, on the one hand, finance the economy, growth, and whatever. So they found a way by legislating this change to get money. So money that was always going to be excluded from uh, the treasury is retirement money until these people will retire. Okay, now they're going to access it beforehand. So toll gates like Metro Cops, toll gates on the highways to collect cash, legislation toll gates gives Treasury access to money that they would not have had uh, unless they changed it. Just another mention on that particular item that I said uh, in the past, uh, retirement funds could invest in different types and classes of assets. So a couple of years ago, uh, SARS or government, ANC government, wanted finger in the pie and they thought how they're going to do it. So one of the things is they compel these retirement funds to invest a certain percentage into government projects, industri uh, in the industrial government, industrial projects like power stations, roads and bridges and, and, and that type of thing. So through government bonds, these funds must uh, now invest a certain percentage, 5% uh, local and 5% in the rest of Africa. So now this is also a toll gate because now uh, government has against 10% of retirement funds invested into government projects. Government will now get money from uh, one third of contributions, obviously a portion, not everybody will do it, but will get a big portion because of the majority of people that always need money will get that one-third back into the economy and they will spend it. So income tax on that amount plus VAT on that amount. So suddenly we're going to get an influx of money coming into the government, into the economy. And now they can continue with their fraudulent tender schemes on this money that is invested in government bonds and projects. They can... Now scheme there through tender fraud. There's money in the treasury uh, suddenly. There's a lot of VAT coming in. So yeah, so in the next five years after this, the impact will find that inflation is it's going to be inflationary in a negative sense to the society to to the economy just another element to this we must always remember that we save for retirement we contribute for retirement and what happens now is one third potential one third is not going to be there for retirement okay so the reason for the tax incentive that you will not be taxed on the amount of money that you contribute towards retirement funds was the old regime pre-94 was to give that incentive to the working class so that they are not a government problem when they retire. So it's an incentive. So what happened now was uh, all the incentives since 94, all these incentives to save money, to save money for retirement, 
long-term saving vehicles that used to not be taxed so that the playing fields were equal, like endowment policies were tax-free vehicles. Suddenly, there's uh, investment portfolios in those retirement uh, funds that is taxed. Then endowment policies are taxed. Uh, so the, the incentives is taken away through legislative toll gates. And that's my thought for the morning. Is what does all these things have to do with each other? And it is, or they are toll gates. Metro cops are toll gates to collect taxes from the people. Tax incentives that's taken away is toll gates so that the government can get their hands on this trillions that they that, that were sitting there and they were thinking and maneuvering ideas of how to get into this pie, into this cookie jar. They got their fingers into PIC, the public uh, investment corporation. Now they got their fingers into retirement funds. The only way you can prevent this is not to take your cash withdrawal option available before retirement. See this as your retirement provision, not as a short-term saving pot, like what they call it, so that you can access it to go and settle debt and uh, have a nice uh, holiday or whatever. Settle your December holiday credit card or that. Don't do that. If you don't do it, they can't tax you on it. Then the money is not going through the toll gate to them. Okay, so one thing that you can't do anything about is that 10% of your money is going into government projects, your retirement money. So... That guarantee, I know it's uh, debatable, but according to me, whatever government wants is not uh, worth a piece of paper that it's uh, written on. Anyway, that's beside the point. That's my thought for the day. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to make money, prevent, uh, save money, prevent cut, uh, losing out for retirement, don't go through that toll gate. Okay. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you.